Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of the Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. On PC. Okay, so we have just killed the uh, Bell... Bell Gargoyles? Belfry Gargoyles? I don't even know what the fuck they're called. And now we're just going to head down here and speak to... Some guy? Oswald of Kareem. Yeah, basically you can come to this guy to request absolution, also to learn the most dickish gesture in Dark Souls, basically. You can abandon covenants without any consequences, although it'll halve your covenant ranking or whatever if you've gained ranking in your covenant. And you can also purchase a variety of items, including indictments, which I'll just take one of, and Book of the Guilty. Why not? Yeah, yeah, so lots of different things that you can buy. You can also buy rings to boost your bleed resistance, poison resist. He also sells up what I think is an infinite number of uh, red rings of sacrifice. But anyway, let's move on. Alright, we're just going to head back to the bonfire now. Um, we're not going to use any uh, thing oats. We're not going to use any uh, homeward bones. Because that would take us back to the uh, wrong bong bonfire. <laughs> the bonfire. Take us back to the wrong bonfire. We want to head back to the uh, fuck it. <laughs> uh, we want to head back to the uh, filing shrine bonfire, where we can try and murder Night Lord Trek, and in fact, that's what we might do. Um, getting five extra humanity is nice, but it's not really so important for me. I don't really care too much. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I completely forgot about this thing. Uh, this is a firekeeper soul which you can use to uh, increase the effectiveness of your Estus. Just like that one that I um, got at the be very beginning of this uh, Let's Play in order to, uh, yeah, just, well, enhance my Estus. God, 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 what you guys are listening? This is um, a shortcut, one of uh, many shortcuts that are available in, um, in Dark Souls, the game. Just allows you to travel between areas a little bit faster. It's all good. Alright, so if you guys haven't um, realized where we are, we're back to that little uh, hub world that we came from just after reaching the uh, Undead Asylum. I mean, uh, after we escaped from the Undead Asylum. And we'll just rest here. Um, I'm not going to go through the depths. Uh, oh, actually, no, I should go through the depths. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's first um, get our just rewards. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to kick this guy. Oh, uh, alright. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's the easier way to kill him, and you want his items, so quit out of the game. At least this is how it worked on the uh, Xbox 360. Hopefully this works now. So, uh, how's everyone's days going, yeah? Yeah, mine, mine went really well. Uh, I basically uh, went to uni and came back home as soon as possible so I could start playing uh, the Prepare to Die edition. By the way, the uh, the last two episodes I've recorded basically, um, or the last three episodes now, back to back. Load. Okay. Oh, the uh, the first two uh, characters basically um, I was trying to fill around with the settings. Five Humanity and the Ring of Favor and Protection, which I won't put on at the moment because there's no real need. Reinforce my Estus. Yes, I will. The Ring of Favor and Protection basically allows you to um, buff your health, stamina, and equip burden. But then you also um, can never take it off, basically. Because if you take it off, it'll break. Which is not desirable. Alright, let me think exactly where I want to go here. I want to get some more Pyromancy, so we will be going to the depths. So I'll just cut out this bit of travel time. I'll basically um, show you guys how to get to the uh, shortcut again. But then we'll um, cut to until I get to the depths. Or until I get to somewhere. <laughs> okay. So you just go up these stairs here. And there it is. Okay, now by the power of editing, see you soon.
Okay, so we are just heading uh, away from the uh, bonfire area where we met the um, the blacksmith, I guess. I've decided to put on the drake sword just to make my life slightly easier. I'm not using any poise anyway, so it doesn't really make any difference. Okay, so we're just going to proceed over here. Kill uh, this guy. Oh, you guys can hear the birds chirping, right? Yeah, much, much easier. <laughs> Break some barrels, because it's fun to do. Fun to say, fun to do. I think this is a halberd. Yep. Called it. Halberds are actually really good in uh, PvP. Or, or They're alright, actually. They're not great, but they're not horrible, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, we are going going to maybe try and kill the... Um... There's a much easier way of doing this. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. I might actually go pick up the night shield as well. Might as well. Okay, come here, kill this guy. Man, the Drake Sword makes the beginning of the game so much easier. And uh, this isn't a challenge run or anything, this is just a let's play, so I should do what's uh, most effective, I suppose. Okay, we're just gonna go around here, turn left. Fuck this guy's day up. He just wanted to protect his. Protect his investment, but sadly, it's now mine. It's Nile mine. Oh boy. Okay, scary sounding asshole. Don't actually have to go through here. So I'm basically going through the area that, you know, you should have gone th through in reverse, but... <laughs> Oh shit. Nope. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try and make this jump. Feels good. A luring skull, but we don't actually need it because we can fucking kill this guy. And we can kill the boar guy. I believe without using it. We can aim our <laughs> fireballs properly. There we go. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe we will um, try the alluring skull thing. So the way that I think you're supposed to do it is um, you get these little bastards and you throw them at the fire. And then he runs into the fire because he's a dumbass and he hurts himself. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Alright, don't panic. Yep, walk into the fire. Yes, Dark Souls Innovation at its best. <laughs> I've actually never done this before. I always killed him with like arrows or something. Took fucking ages, but yeah. Any fat loots? No fat loots. Okie dokie. Kill this guy. Yeah, I really should have come, actually gone the proper way. So basically what you do if you're going through this game for the first time is you run up here, try to run, try to get past the ball and then go down there. Or you can run up the stairs on this right hand side and go up there and do what I just did with the alluring skulls. Probably not that helpful to you, but anyway, um, <laughs> at least you know how to do it for the next time, I guess. Okay, we'll just rest at the bonfire. I think I took a really elongated way of... Yeah, I really did. I took a really elongated way of getting... Getting to the um, depths, but anyway. These guys go down so easy to the Drake Sword. Man, it's crazy. Framey. Alright. So basically, uh, when you get... Oh, actually, no, I couldn't have gone the other way because I would have needed to get the key. Anyway, okay, so it's fine. So basically, you need the uh, basement key or something to get through that door. And then you can head down these ear ladder. Don't 
jump down because this fall is unsurvivable, as far as I can tell. Fall damage, I believe, is calculated on percentage of your uh, health rather than uh, health in total, so there are falls that are unsurvivable to every character in this game. Come up here, I'm just going to open this shortcut, murder these guys. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm going to try to murder these guys. You dodgy fuck. Alright. You are shitting me. Okay. Uh, yep, can't get past the door. <laughs> MD plays, can't get past the door. Alright, so this is the, um, not the depths, this is the lower undead berg. And these fuckers, man. They, um, they inflict up sort of bleed damage on you, um, can be, oh fuck. Oh fuck. They, oh man, that was really fucking lucky. Basically, if they bleed you, you are fucked. <laughs> so, if they hit you too many times in succession, they will fuck your day right the hell up. I'm not gonna rescue the, um, Basically, if you go to the uh, the undead merchant that I showed you guys at the beginning of the game, you walk over here, there's this guy in here, and you can open this door and you can get some extra sorceries. It's really useful for any sorcerer character, but for me, um, yep, not that useful because I don't have any intelligence. <laughs> That's uh, the uh, method I developed of killing these guys, just walk up to the door and throw a swing. This third guy you can't actually kill. Uh, using that technique, but he goes Holy fuck Okay, when they do that pose, they're trying to parry you so just take that opportunity to just heal up or whatever They go down pretty easily, but you know Okay, oh Shit did I oh, okay, so what I'm gonna do I think I rested at the uh, Wrong bonfire, so I'm gonna go Back. Yes, I'm gonna go back and rest at that first. Um, rest at the uh, Berg bonfire, and then I'm gonna come back. So I'll edit all this footage out, and I'll see you guys when I get to where I was just then. Oh fuck! Okay. Oh my god. This is actually pretty fucking dangerous. These guys will backstab you, by the way. But not if you backstab them first. Okay. I didn't mean to uh, sort of come back to this. Wow, Hollow Thiefhood. Light enough, maybe? Yeah. Man, I look like a fucking dog. I mean, a beast. Dog beast? Dog beast. Okay. And we're back. Um, this next area is actually really dangerous. It's basically a fucking ambush of shit And you can't use uh, that method that I was showing you before about how you can attack through doors So I am gonna use some fireballs here Ineffectively obviously. Oh Jesus. I forgot. I don't have any poise. Oh my god Okay, that was really lucky. I probably sh should have gotten parried there, but didn't luckily take this opportunity to heal and Fuck. Oh god, playing this playing throughout this entire game without any poise probably would be quite difficult. All right. There's some nice pickups. Actually, I missed an item um back here. You can get a rapier, the mail breaker, which isn't really that good in my opinion. It's all right. It just has a really short range, but yeah, here it is. The mail breaker. Mail breaker. There are also like uncommon drops, I think, of the boulder sword, boulder knights, or maybe that's the rapier. Actually, I think that's a rapier. Never mind. Ignore everything that I'm saying in this let's play ever. Oh fucking man. Okay. So the next area, um, I'm probably gonna die a bit on because uh, the Capra demon can be quite difficult. But anyway, let's just uh, see how we go. Okay, so we're gonna try and kill these fucking uh, dogs first because they're the ones that are going to cause us probably okay now that the dogs are dead basically this guy's a cakewalk so he throws really slow attacks okay and if you ever need a reprieve 
Um, just run up these stairs and heal. And then when he starts walking up the stairs, just, just fall down on the other side. Whenever he does that attack, that's when you should sort of come in for attacks. He likes throwing that double throw as well. Yeah, it's just a matter of uh, sort of dodging, really. <laughs> um, I want him to throw that double uh, double sword attack if he can. Oh, Jesus, I just completely fucked up that spacing. Oh, I might die here, actually. Heal. Oh, my God. Alright, heal. That was stupid. The worst PvP in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I can kill this guy now. Oh, okay. Alright, so that was a pretty bad fight, but yeah, anyway, I'm not too fast. I'm actually not going through this way to get to the um get to Blight Town because I really don't want to go through the entirety of Blight Town. As much as I enjoy Blight Town, I really don't enjoy it that much. I'm basically doing this to get some extra pyromancies and unlock a few shortcuts as well. So anyway, I'm going through here. This is the way to another shortcut. Just run up here, kill this guy, keep running up. And you will come across um, the female undead merchant. We'll sell you a variety of things like, I don't know, blah, 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 moss. Um, yeah, moss, poison knives, uh, dung pies, the pine resin, so charcoal pine resin, rotten pine resin, prism stones. They, she only sells like a few humanity, so don't run off. Yeah, that's precisely what I'm going to do there. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, moving on. Alright. So, if you guys don't recognize where this is, basically this is the aqueduct that you encounter the uh, first big-ass rat in. But we're obviously not going to proceed all the way through here. We are going to... So sexy. Look at her back. It's just so defined. Oh, so sexy. All right, we're going to go down to the depths and free Laurentius of the Great Swamp, and we are going to get ourselves some extra pyromancies because um, pyromancy is pretty good. Um, particularly great combust, uh, particularly combustion, and later on great combustion, really, really solid, solid spells to have in PVE, PvP. Great combustion is really good, not for spamming though. For those of you out there who are aspiring PVPers, <laughs> I know, do whatever you want, don't spam though. Okay, go over here, kill this guy. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. Whenever in trouble, use pyromancies. Hey, I don't have any healing items left. Okay, that's fine. I don't really need to survive too long anyway. <laughs> oh, I probably should have gone to heal. Alright, I'm just gonna be really careful. Okay, not like that though. <laughs> so it's a standoff, eh? There we go. Ah, oh, didn't kill that guy though. Oh shit. <laughs> He's just like waddling over to me and I'm like panicking and shit. Alright. I may actually use a humanity here because I don't really want to run all the way back. But, oh fuck. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. I do have 8 humanity, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop a humanity. Probably not the best use of my, um, my items, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, we are basically bum rushing this area because, uh, this is. Not really the proper way to go through this area, but anyway, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, talk to this guy. Thank you. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, and now we are just going to use a Homeward Bone to get out of here. So, um, as soon as you free him, you can't actually buy items from him. You have to wait until he gets back to the uh, Filing Shrine. So, we are just going to go there now. 
That was probably a big waste of my time, but oh well. So we are going to head back to the uh, Filing Shrine and hopefully head down to Blighttown after that. So I'm going to go through the really short way to get to Blighttown because honestly I just can't really be fucked. <laughs> um, yeah, going through Blighttown is a big pain in my ass. Fraps is probably going to go mental. But anyway. Okay. Chopping through enemies like their butter. The Drake Sword. The biggest butter knife ever. Seriously though, like once you get to like proper PvP, like this Drake Sword might seem good now, but it is seriously like a butter knife. When you get to uh higher levels. The non-scaling is um pretty much uh devastating. Alright. So it might seem like I'm sort of like going a little bit more gung ho now. It's because I know that um this item is <laughs> particularly brutal against uh, basic mobs or basic hollows, I guess. Maybe not in the painted world, but definitely in areas like this, they're just brutal. It's brutal. Okay, come over here. I think we might put our endurance up a little bit more. Why the hell not? And we are oh, actually. I shouldn't have done that. I should have uh, used it to buy some uh, pyromancies, but oh well. No. Okay, so basically all I want to buy is great is combustion, which is only 500. It's not too bad. I don't need another fireball. Do I? I could have used fire orb actually. Uh, that was a mistake. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can use the rest of my souls to modify my pyromancy flame. So you basically, this is um, always a good idea. It increases the damage of your um, pyromancies by a fair bit, and pretty much once you've um, gotten the pyro, pyro glove to full damage, you can um, yeah, you don't really have to worry about it anymore. It costs like a million souls or something to get it there the first time, but then after that, pretty much uh, it can be splashed. In, oh, pyromancies can be splashed into any type of character. So yeah. All right. Anyway, so we're just gonna uh, move on here. You guys might remember this uh, shortcut from the beginning of the um, beginning of the Let's Play. This is um, the way to get down to the New Londo ruins, but it's also a shortcut to get into Blighttown. Um, looking at the length of this recording, I probably won't be able to uh, play through Blight play through Blighttown. But um, anyway, I'm just going to go there for the time being, and maybe I'll um, sort of. Get to Quelag and then I'll fight Quelag in the next episode or something like that. Or maybe I'll make this a particularly long episode and kill Quelag as well. I don't really have any, um. I'm not really too worried about killing Quelag to be honest. Um, I've, it's a fight I've done quite a few times before because uh, you need to kill her to get the more advanced pyromancies, but anyway. Alright, so if you guys didn't see, um, basically you come out of that area, go immediately to the right, walk up this area, and you can open this door with a master key. And for your troubles, you get a very nice large soul of the name the soldier. Now, what you want to avoid in this area is getting fucking toxic. Because <laughs> like, if you become toxic, you are pretty much dead. There is pretty much nothing you can do, particularly at this um, sort of low level. You are going to die. <laughs> there is a uh, yeah, nothing you can do unless you somehow manage to pick up some um, some purple uh, some yeah purple blooming blossoms. But um, yeah. <laughs> These guys, you can just run past. I run past them because uh, I can't really be fucked. They're ugly. They uh, drop dung pies when they kill them. They're just uh, all around uh, pain in my nethers. If you ever get lost in um, Blighttown, by the way, a good rule of thumb is follow the torches. Just go for the torches. They lead to ladders. They lead to all these good fun times. Uh, also, sometimes those are fucking like giant dickwads. They just uh, kill, kill themselves, so... Yeah, I, mean, I can live with that. Alright. Hmm. I just realized that I don't have any uh, uh, purple blossoms. So I won't be able to cure my uh, my poison when I get poisoned. So that is going to be a big problem for me, actually. But anyway, uh, my, <laughs> my foresight into uh, PvE is pretty much worthless. So we'll just uh, keep moving along then, I guess. So um, in terms of like when you guys will actually see um, part of the new content, I'm pretty sure like I'll um, once I get 
past this area I'll go and I'll kill the Hydra in the Dark, wood, dark Root Basin and then I might go and try uh, and then I'll go probably kill Ornstein and Smo and then after that I think there's the DLC content begins uh, as Epic Name Bro has uh, already put out tutorials on how to do <laughs> because yeah they just um get on that shit they get it on <laughs> get it on they get it on they get it they get on that shit real quick okay I'm gonna uh, basically spam combustions against this guy. This um this isn't actually a proper invader. This is sort of a um I don't know like a pretend invader. So but really slow attacks and really oh my god, this is gonna take me fucking forever to kill him. But you can just poise um you can basically stun lock them to death here. So although the mosquito is pain in the ass, but anyway, really easy. I mean, like, as far as uh, enemies go, it's probably actually one of the easier ones if you, like, know how to actually fight them. And you get some humanity, I think. Yeah, some some loose humanity? No, some tight humanity. And the butcher knife, which I don't particularly like. Okay, light this bonfire. Rest up. We'll probably kindle it, because why not? We have a lot of humanity, actually. Just stocked up for no reason. Whoa, what the fuck's with my leg? Oh, just doing some stretches, man. Ah, oh, because this place is fucked up. Okay, we'll uh, level up twice. Yeah, we'll level up twice. Um, maybe put our endurance up to 59 so that we can actually uh, put on our chest piece. We can't yet, but we will be able to with one more endurance. Um, just in case you guys are wondering what endurance is for, uh, basically it increases that green bar, which is your stamina, which you use to like attack, block, um, run. Oh Jesus, that was close. <laughs> okay, so I probably should have gone to the um, I know the undead asylum, or gone back to the undead asylum to pick up the. Whatchamacallit? I can't even remember what it's called. The rusted... Rusted iron ring or something like that. But anyway, can't be bothered. So we're just gonna have to deal with our, um, us being poisoned through this area. It's not too big a hassle. You wanna go around this way because if you go that way, you'll get fucked by those uh, giant dung pie monsters who roll rocks at you. So you really wanna avoid that if at all possible. Okily dokily. And yeah, so this is like the This is the place you want to be, Quelag's domain. Filled with uh nice eggy type looking things. And also these people with giant eggs on their back, which probably is not very comfortable. Um Alright, actually we might just make this an extra long episode and kill Quelag now, because uh if I sort of rest between these um two videos I'm probably gonna die so we can summon man to Mildred who's that person who just tried to kill us I mean why they're helping us now fuck knows this is gonna be a pretty quick fight um, this is a fight that I've done a number of times before like I said and <laughs> pretty easy I think anyway the key to this fight is just like the key to um, quite a lot of uh, Dark Souls boss fights just stay close and keep your <laughs> keep her tender supple bosom Right where your eyes want to be. Pretty awesome looking sword though. But the Quelag Fury sword, um, you can craft. It's actually not that good. I don't really think it's very good. But a lot of people use it to pretty decent effect. So, yeah. <laughs> if uh, that manages to actually get into the uh, thumbnail for this video, I'm probably going to get a million views. <laughs> Okay, chugging Estus like it's uh, like it's our birthday. Jump! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, let man eat a Mildred tank a little bit for us while we just heal up. Okay, now we need to get in there. Should do some damage. Okay, when she bends down like that, you need to run the fuck away, because that area of effect attack will pretty much fuck your days. So when she bends over forward, just run the fuck away. 
Okay, this uh, fight is going really badly. Okay, she's bending over. Run away. Heal. Basically, Manny to Meldred is a fucking tank, and she will never go down against this chick. Um, just want to sort of come in here, do some damage, and then run away. If you can. Okay, and then when she gets close, just get... Oh, shit. Wait, has, has this... Have they changed this boss? Yeah, so get in right here. This is the sweet spot. Alright. When you're afraid, just back off, Estes. Yeah, so... Whoa! I didn't realize the reach of that was um so far. Okay. Manny to Mildred is uh, just basically, you know, some having a nice chill out. Oh my god, Manny to Mildred is almost dead. Alright, just spam. Okay, half dead. Bending over. Back off. Manny to Mildred, no! Yeah, stupid bitch. Jump. Okay. Uh, I think Manny to Mildred is actually going to go down. Yes, that was some decent dodging there, Manny to Mildred. Oh, you po poise broker. Oh, no. <laughs> I actually died. Okay, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was saying like, oh, yeah, no, this, this fight's going to be fucking easy. And I just eat it like a sack of dicks. Okay, well, maybe we'll uh, end this episode here, and uh, I will maybe see you guys, or I'll definitely see you guys in the next uh, episode.